What's up guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Magic Bullet looks for Adobe After Effects and just basic kind of colour correcting and what kind of presets come with Magic Bullet looks and what you can kind of play about with in terms of the uh, set presets and stuff like that. So Magic Bullet looks can be purchased online from Red Giant directly. Um, I know it may look a little pricey but what you're actually getting is a very good software package which actually gives a lot of definition to your videos, whether or not it be gaming, uh, short films or anything like that. Uh, Magic Bullet Looks really gives your image a really professional feel, which I think is the best thing about a product to make it um, it's really easy to use and, and, and then you get a really professional outcome, which is good. So um, let's get started on the video. So we're going to open After Effects and I've already imported this video. And um, once you've dragged it onto your composition, you can go to just Effect, uh, Magic Bullet Looks and Looks. And then you click on Edit here. And it opens this other window which is Looks Builder. And if you just hover over this part here, you've got all these looks. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot to choose from. I mean, I like to stick to the popular film section, which are really nice. And you can use a like, blockbuster. And you can see already that it gives your image a lot of depth and a lot of, you know, real potential if you'll be making, say, a short film or a music video or anything like that. Or even if you're making a, a montage or a Call of Duty video, just this software just makes everything look a lot more diverse and a lot more interesting. So, I mean, you get all these different settings. You've got bronze aggressive. And I'm just going to click through some of them so you guys can see what you kind of get with the package. And there's a lot more as well. You've got your music video presets. But all of these settings are really nice. And if there's anything particularly you don't like on your um, the preset given, you can just click on these little bits here, like diffusion, vignette, lift, gamma, range, saturation, etc. And you can just play about with the settings here. So you can ad uh, change the strength of the vignette, you can change the exposure compensation, change the spread, and just things like that really. Like the radius of it. And I think all these nice kind of tools are really useful and can really help you out when editing your videos and they can give such a nice effect. I just wanted to make this tutorial really because I know that a lot of people are going into filmmaking and stuff like that so I think uh, it's a nice thing to have to get this software because it does make stuff look a lot more professional. I mean when you compare it to the original clip here it's very dull, bland, colours are very flat but when you go on your Magic Bullet looks makes the image look very kind of professional and the camera quality does actually seem to improve obviously it doesn't in a little literal sense but um, it just looks a lot better so you can also change your curves here which I think looks quite nice if you want to change around different effects obviously only really edit with curves if you know what you're doing because if you don't you're just going to end up getting something like this which never looks good so, uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, so that's Magic Bullet Looks. Hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial, just kind of like a tips tutorial. I'm going to be doing tutorials every Wednesday and Saturday from now on. Um, comment in the section below if you've got any ideas for tutorials. I mean, it's hard thinking sometimes of what you guys actually want to see because I might make a tutorial that you don't really want to watch. But um, comment in the section below if there's anything in particular, and the comment with the highest thumbs up will get made into a tutorial on Saturday. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, and I'll be making some more After Effects, Photoshop, Cinema 4D tutorials soon. See you later.